up, smashers. Guess what we're doing? Shoulder mobility. Look, we got a full class today, all these people. They're doing mobility, isn't that pretty cool? I like that stuff. I, uh, I won't put anybody on the spot, so don't worry about that. But shoulder, nice set of buttery shoulders. Does that sound good? Be able to get into that overhead position. We're walking, uh, I was walking through uh, some front rack mobility with, uh, with someone right here, but I won't put her on the spot either. But when you get into that front rack and you can externally rotate, it really takes a lot of the strain off the shoulder and the wrist. So we need to have good shoulder mechanics. The problem is most people go through the standard one or two or three mobility drills for shoulders and they miss a lot of stuff. Remember, the mechanics of the shoulder are, are pretty complex. The four rotators, they're the ones, remember what I said, they coalesce into this nice wound up structure that keeps the, uh, it keeps the head of the humerus nicely seated in that glenoid fossa. And that glenoid fossa has that labral ring, right? That labrum that keeps it super solid. And it's not like the hip where the hip has nice tight mechanics. The shoulder's a lot more loose. So it has a lot of that roll slide glide. So it has a lot more play in that joint. And the problem with that is you sacrifice mobility, or you sacrifice stability for mobility. So the more a joint moves, the less stable it is. So you wanna make sure that that uh, shoulder is super anchored. And, and one of the cool things is, just to throw it in there, a lot of my buddies, um, Sean and Jeremy over at Active Life RX, man, these guys, they're working on shoulder stability drills that are super killer. So you know what, I know you guys follow me. Check them out, they're pretty legit. I like what they do and, and they know their stuff. And then, you know, good friends of mine, they're my brothers from another mother over on the East Coast. So I'm gonna show you uh, four things to do to kind of unload the shoulder and to work on the mechanics of the shoulder because the shoulder likes 360 degrees, all right? So you're designed to be able to bring your arm all the way around. If you bring your arm up to this position, you can see what's going on. My thoracic spine doesn't change position. As Soon as I come here, it stays the same. I'm, I can have a good up, up uh, overhead position. The dilemma is when you're going into an overhead position and you have to do this, because your overhead position stops here. So if you hit a wall here, there's some dilemma there. There's some there issues with uh, the teres, the lat, the subscap. They all wind up dragging that scapula forward. So check this stuff out. This stuff's cool. I'm gonna show you uh, some super funky stuff. One is a great way to open up the shoulder in that overhead position. It's gonna hit the lat, the teres. It's gonna hit the bicep, the pec, all at once. Oh, that's super freaky, huh? So let's grab a bench. We're not gonna use the bench yet but I am gonna to toss in a bonus, and that is the Glassman prayer in honor of Coach Glassman. And when I say Coach Glassman, that's the uh, inventor of CrossFit. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna load up the band. How about I fix my camera angle though? And check this stuff out, this is pretty tight. So you're gonna load up the band into the elbow. And you're gonna just, the band is coming for the pull-up bar. So I'm gonna take, I'm gonna just take a lunge stance the band is dragging the elbow up and over, and I'm gonna grab the back of my neck, and I'm just gonna let the band peel me open. So all it's doing is it's opening up the lat, the pec, hitting a little bit of that serratus and that subscap in there, mostly the lat and the teres, and it's providing a really good position for that overhead position, because it's unloading the mechanics of the shoulder when it's overhead. How long do we stay like this? Yeah, two minutes. That's number one. Number two, not even a stretch. It's a mobility drill. And I bet you guys are going, holy crap, he never does this stuff. This is all I do. So check this out. You're gonna take a, uh, a wall ball. Now I wanna see someone like Froning or uh, Dan Bailey or Travis Mayer. Yeah, you. You're gonna do this with a, uh, a D-ball instead of a wall ball. So you're gonna take the wall ball, you're gonna lock it out in front of you just like this. So elbow's locked out and all you're gonna do is you're gonna bring it all the way around. So I'm rotating. So all the way around, all the way overhead, all the way around, all the way in front. So I know I blocked the camera angle, so I'll do it at the side. So you're gonna come all the way. How many steps to 10? Three, except here's the catch. Five one way, five the other way. That's gonna just get those shoulders moving the way they're supposed to in the mechanics that they're designed to move in. That's the problem is a lot of people get those shoulders moving in just one specific groove. You miss all the ranges that your shoulder has. That's not good. You see I got a barbell behind me? Yeah, we got more stuff coming. This is gonna hit that long head of the bicep. So remember that long head of the bicep comes in here, anchors on the uh, superglenoid tubercle. So what happens is it's gonna dump the shoulder forward. So we get the shoulders that sit like this. Now watch, as our shoulders roll forward, to be able to, I'll come from this side so you can see because the light's a little better. As the shoulders roll forward, if I'm sitting on the edge of the labrum like this and I try and go overhead, I'm gonna hit a wall. I'm gonna smash into the coracoid, I'm gonna smash into the AC joint, and I'm not gonna be able to get into that nice open position. Super bad. 
So to unload the bicep, there's a couple of ways. We can smash it out, that works really well. Number two is, this, or the, uh, the other way is this. Put the barbell up on the up on the rig. Make sure the, uh, the barbell's on the opposite side of the rig so you don't dump it. And all you're gonna do is narrow your grip to where about you be with a clean. Lock out the bicep, so you're gonna lock out the elbow. And all you're gonna do is take a knee and push the chest up real tall. Yeah, this is pretty gnarly. Oh, this one hurts. So all I'm gonna do is hang out, chill, let the tissue peel away. How long? Two minutes. I'm wiggling my nose in the shape of a two, in case you guys can't see it. Somebody laughed over there, it was that funny. So nice and tall chest. The way you get out of this is just lean forward and let the arms come off. That's gonna peel off the bicep. It's missed a lot. And remember, the bicep is a supinator and a shoulder flexor, so it does a lot of stuff that's missed in the mechanics of the shoulder. Ready for the bonus? Oh, this one's a fun one. Everybody was asking about uh, lat mobility. So how about you check this bonus out? There's some good stuff here. So I can get this band off of here without herniating a disc. See, it's always fun stuff here. Yeah, I'm moving benches around. Like I own the place. Go there, there. I'm moving my stand, in case you're wondering, stand. Cool set of orange shoes. Jiu-Jitsu t-shirt. Dude, it's just nothing but fun here today. So cinch up the band on the bottom of the rig, about knee height. You're gonna do what's called the Glassman Prayer. You're gonna kick out over onto the other side of the bench. I've done this one probably at least a half a dozen times. It's this important. You're gonna lock the wrists together inside the band. Grab your fingers. Charlie's Angels, gun position, right? You're gonna let the elbows lock out. Do not bend the elbows and don't pronate the arm. And then just take your torso and shove it all the way down through. So really load that up. What we're gonna do is let me come a little farther forward so you can see what I'm doing. So a good axial distraction, and then just push your torso all the way through. Hang out for how long? Two minutes, ninjas. And that's it. That's how you clean up your shoulder mechanics. Super fast, super easy. And that's how you get everything working. So that overhead position, that front rack position, and just generally good shoulder health and good mechanics of the shoulder. Heck, you'll even get rid of all that tightness up in here, giving you those funky migraines. It's just that easy. Hey, I'm Trev, Smashworks. Check you guys out tomorrow. Have an awesome day.